This is Undead Viking. I'm here with my daughter Rylan, and she is going to be helping me unpack these two. Hold yours up. We have two big giant Marvel Hero Dice boosters, and we're going to be unpacking these and cutting open. We got your scissors. You got your scissors. Don't wave those around. Don't run around with those. Anyway, uh, so but first, Rylan's got a big news announcement. Rylan, uh... <laughs> show your tooth. Point. Like, get right up there, right up there and smile. Ryan lost one of her first front teeth. Oh, now she's gonna, like, there you go. There you go, she lost one of her, her front teeth. All right, get back this. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you get from the Tooth Fairy? Two dollars. Two dollars, awesome, so two dollars. And, uh, okay, cool. But anyway, I, I did a review, and I that just it went live just a little bit ago, so hopefully you've watched that. During the review, I mentioned that I had these, and Ryan and I were gonna open these today. Um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to open these up. You'll watch us open them. Don't worry, I'll, I'll do put like a fast forward on the video so you don't have to worry about this being really dull and boring. But I'll play some funny music in the background or something. And then uh, we will, hey, watch it, watch it. I'm going to cut your finger off. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of maybe like look at the checklist that you have and I'm going to see like which ones I still need, which ones I'm missing. And basically what this is, is like after, like if you were to go buy boosters, uh, you'd have like an idea of what you're going to get um, with, you know, one of these with 60. I got two of them, obviously, and we're going to not really separate them out or anything. But um, we're going to just open them and then like after that we're going to see like our giant pile of dice and our giant pile of cards. And I'm going to kind of give my final thoughts about, because uh, I, I haven't been part of a collectible game for a long, long time. And so uh, I'm kind of excited to uh, open these but up and see what we got. you have, like, got, like, collector's things before, like, minifigures. Well, okay, the Lego minifigs, yeah, we probably spent too much money on those, too. <laughs> they only take, like, four dollars! I know, but we have, like, a ton of them on the shelf and we never do anything with them. But anyway, all right, so here we go. We're going to open these, and so here we go. All right. Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web any size, catches speed, just like flies, look out. Here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, wealth and fame, he's ignored, action is his reward to him. Life is a great big pain, up. wherever there's a hang up, you'll find a Spider-Man.
and his amazing friends, Iceman and Firestar. His amazing friend. Duck to Banner, belted by Gamma Rays, turned into the Hulk. Ain't he unglamorous? Reckon the town with the power of a bull. Ain't no monster clown who is as lovable as ever loving Hulk. Hulk, Hulk. Sulky over funky, kinda hulky superhero. A two twisted and electrically transistored superhero. An exotically neurotic and aquatic superhero. The Marvel superheroes have arrived. Superpowered from the forehead to the toes. Watch them change their very shape before your nose. Arcane striking superhero Change to Viking superhero A humping and real swing and shield Clinging superhero They're the latest, they're the greatest Ultimate superheroes The Marvel superheroes have
I will rule the universe! All right, squaddies, time to hero up! So there, we're done. We set up all of them. We got all the dice. A couple more pieces of garbage. And um, just at a glance here, and I'll go into more in depth after Rowling goes to bed. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I got. Let's see. I mean, I don't. I don't remember the cards exactly, but um, I only got one more Spider-Man and one more Hulk, and I'm kind of annoyed by that because I, I would have liked to have more. Because obviously, those are the rares and and super rares and whatever. I know for a fact that I got both of uh, the um, Green Goblin and Wolverine, like Ultra Super Crazy Rare. Uh, I looked at those cards. I'm kind of. I know there's one of those in each box. I'm kind of excited about that because those are like the two that I really wanted. I think there's a Mr. Fantastic and somebody else, but I want, really wanted the Wolverine one and the Green Goblin one. Oh, and uh, um, Human Torch. Oh yeah, we got we got we got two Human Torch, like either rares or, or not extra special, super rare, but we got a couple of those. Um, I, the one I got the most of um, from the base sets is uh, Beast. I got three, 
So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, just at a glance, it looks like out of all the dice, like I, it looks like I got one of everybody, um, but like some of them, like I only got five gambits. Um, I got six Doc Ox. I only got six rogues. Um, I think, yeah, I think the gambits are the ones that I got the least of them. Everyone else, you know, I've got the Hulk and the. Other well, yeah, but those are those are the ones from the basic set. Everything else, though, like as far as like the, the ones that you get, everything else I've got at least six of or more. Um, and it looks like I got a ton of night crawlers. Looks like I got one, two, three. I got nine of those. Looks like I got um, one, ten two, Deadpool's. Three, four, five, oh yeah, we got seven, a bunch eight, of Cyclopses. Nine, ten. ten. Ten Cyclopses. So, um, you know, so I, I'm actually not too upset about the 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 uh, the the weird uh, the, the the dice or whatever. I mean, I I got a really nice. Um, uh, collection going and they look really cool but um rylan's gonna go to bed because it's his her bedtime and and then i'm gonna like uh, go further in depth and we're gonna see exactly which ones i'm missing and then uh and i you know I'm, I'm really excited to look at these uh, these cards and i'm gonna play it tomorrow over my lunch hour with a couple of my buddies so i'm really looking forward to that so all right thank you very much for helping me around and say goodbye to everybody Bye. can you can you actually <laughs> come up okay she's she's shrinking <laughs> All, right. I love you. All right, I sorted everything out and I marked off what I got and I looked at all the cards and I'm just going to kind of go through a few things. So this is all the dice that I got out of two uh, booster boxes. Uh, each of them have 60 uh, of those little uh, bags of the dice and the cards in them. So I had 120. And so obviously then this is uh, 240 dice. And I got 240 cards. Because, you know, 60 uh, times 2 is 120. 120 times 2 is 240. So I do know some math. But anyway, um, these are the, the dice that you get with the basic game. Thor... Iron Man, Storm, Human Torch, Captain America, The Beast, The Hulk, and Spider-Man. And I'm an idiot because, for whatever reason, I didn't actually look at the checklist. And um, you get those uh, those cards with the base set, and there's only one more for uh, one more like uncommon card for all of the basic uh, heroes that you get. So I have all the cards for those uh, particular heroes. So that's pretty cool, actually. I'm kind of pleased now. I, before I was like, oh man, I only got one Hulk. And I'm like, well, that's good because now that's all I needed was one more Hulk. But anyway, so uh, the other ones, I mean, the, the dice look cool. Um, I, as I was opening them, I mean, it just, there were a couple of things that um, bugged me as far as like the colors go. Um, the uh, I mean, they're different symbols, but um, the, the Venom dice and the Punisher dice, I mean, if you're just glancing at them and you don't see the Punisher skull or if you don't see the Venom uh, face, you know, it, it, it is, you know, it isn't noticeable right away. I'm assuming as I play the game, I'll get used to that and it won't bother me as much. Um, uh, the... It's kind of weird. I looked at I looked at the, the the Nightcrawler die over and over, and then I actually had like the light. I don't know if you're able to see this, but it's actually like a dark blue see-through die. I thought it was black. You can kind of see it right there. I don't know if you're able to notice that or not. I thought that was kind of neat because like when it's on the on the table, it it definitely looks. Uh, like a black die, but if you know Nightcrawler, um, he's got like that really, really dark blue furry skin, and so that's kind of neat that they actually uh, went to the trouble for that. Um, you know, the dice are, are on the smaller side. I mean, they're they're like courier sized, but you know, it, they they still um, you know there was some like quality control issues. I know people have mentioned in the past uh, with some of the faces of the dice. Uh, having been worn off or something. I really didn't notice anything glaringly wrong with any of them. Um, on a couple of my uh, War Machine dice, like um, like the War Machine uh, face is really good, like on this one, but like, say on this one, it's, you know, not as good. I mean, is it, uh, is that a game breaker by any means? No, not at all. But, you know, I, and it seems like the, um, the War Machine dice, uh, have that biggest problem of any of the dice that I, 
that were out there. So, okay, uh, over here I, I separated out all the, the cards that I got. Um, this giant one full of the, all of these, these are all my duplicate commons. Um, I don't know what I'm going to possibly do with these. Um, theoretically, uh, I, they might come in handy if I'm ever um, playing uh, like kind of a weird tournament with my buddies and we want to have... Uh, I have to have multiple commons available at different tables. But regardless, um, obviously I, I had to expect I was going to get a ton of those, so that's that. Um, these are the ones that I got. I'm going to show these really quick. Uh, these are the doubles that I got for my uncommons and uh, and and rares. Um, you can the, the green border down here. It's kind of tough to see. Is is a uh, is a rare uh, uncommon. I'm sorry. And uh, the rares are like this yellow right there. And so I got some doubles of those. I don't know. Theoretically, if I have other people that that I know that they collect them. Um, We'll be able to trade the cards or whatever, but uh, I'm not all that worried about it. I mean, it's a collectible game, so, um, you know, one of the more annoying things that happened was, um, since the Black Widow is uh, doesn't have an uncommon, she just has a normal card, um, a rare, and a super rare, um, I just got... Uh, all I got for her was an uncommon. So because of the fact that you know you don't get a lot of the super, the rares or the super rares, but um, I did take the checklist. You get the checklist with the base game, and I went through the whole thing, and I did get you know all of the common cards. I did get all of the uncommon cards, and then when I got to the rares, and um, you know I missed out on a few. Uh, but um, and I'm missing two of the super rares, but I'm only missing 14 cards, which, you know, if we're buying two of these, you know, uh, two of these big booster boxes, I guess I really can't complain. I mean, there's 14 cards away from being a, having a complete set. I don't know how I'm going to fill these. Maybe there's some aftermarket stuff I'll be able to pull it off. Um, the only ones I'm kind of annoyed about not having are, like, the Wolverine card, um, but I did get the Wolverine super rare, which I'm going to show you in just a second, which, you know, kind of... Uh, takes a little bit out of that sting, if you will. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get the Colossus uh, rare. But, I mean, I mean, theoretically, eventually, I'll get all of them, and it really won't matter in the end, right? So, whatever. So, uh, these are the cards that I got, and I just wanted to show you some of them. Um, I, I kind of looked through them all, and and, uh, and now that I've and I got their powers, and I, I was like, oh, that's really neat. I was really happy. I always liked the Green Goblin, and I really, was really happy that I got his uh, super rare. And his superpower is awesome. Uh, if you can read that, it says, When fielded, uh, the Green Goblin deals one damage to your opponent for each sidekick in the field. And you count your sidekicks only. So, you know, it's like, if you can get a bunch of sidekicks out, then you put the Green Goblin out. A um, bunch of damage. I, I like that really, I like that a lot. Um, I also got the Goblin, um, the, the Goblin uh, Rare as well. The Goblin's one of those people that like um, the Black Widow, where they have, they, they just have uh, the common card, and then a super rare, and a rare. Um, but, uh, when fielded, you may roll up to two sidekick dice from your used pile. Uh, and so, I mean, it, he's like, I don't know why, I mean, there's Green Goblin just having a lot of, like, weird sidekick stuff or whatever. I don't understand why, but whatever. Um, so Wolverine uh, is also one of those uh, that, like, it has just a common and then a rare and a super rare. But I did get, um, and this is this is one of those few that has, like, a maximum of three dice you can have total. And so... Um, uh, the, his, uh, I was glad I got the Knucklehead uh, Super Rare for Wolverine. Uh, when Wolverine attacks alone, he cannot be blocked. How cool is that? It's just, yeah, okay. And notice, like, his top level um, is 8 damage. So if you have him out there and you're, you just attack somebody with him, they can't block it. And, and it's just, bam, you just, hi, I'm going to do a bunch of damage to you. So that, that's really cool. And then... I'm going to show you the, these are the, um, base, uh, these are the, uh, like, the green uncommons for, for the base heroes that you normally get, and I got one of each of those, and I, and I'm probably just totally, it's, it's late, I'm just not understanding, but if somebody could explain this one to me a little bit, Spider-Man, uh, the green, green, uh, uncommon, uh, Spider-Man attacks and is not blocked, you may pay two fists of you know two fist energy 
to change your opponent's life to 10 before damage is dealt. The only thing I can think of that working is if somehow, like, because I know, like, the, the, the rules state that you start with 10 health. Maybe if somebody, like, uses powers to increase their uh, health uh, to above, above 10, uh, and then you can knock them down to 10 before you do damage. I guess, you know, I, I, that's the only thing I can think of, but it seems like a pretty limited power. I mean, maybe if you were playing in a game that, like, you started off with 20 health or something. I don't know, maybe something like that. And uh, I think maybe tournament rules are that you're supposed to start with 15 health, so maybe I, I'm kind of talking my way through this right now, and I can see where that would be important. But anyway, and then I was really glad. I was I was worried. I hadn't found a Hulk card. I was like, we're we're pulling them through. Ryle and I, and I was like, I hadn't couldn't find a Hulk. Couldn't find a Hulk. Couldn't find a Hulk. And I finally uh, got got a Hulk. And I was like excited, excited about it. And you notice that Hulk's card uh, is uh, while Hulk is active, whether whenever either you or Hulk takes damage, Hulk deals two damage to each opposing character. Uh, no, no matter how many Hulks are fielded. So it's like Hulk is pretty awesome. So I was pretty excited that I, I got a, a Hulk card for that. So uh, that's that. Um, a couple other uh, characters I just wanted to show you quick that I, I saw that I liked. Um, I really liked uh, the Doctor Strange um, rare card uh, because it says when fielded, you can search your bag for an action die and roll it. Um, so it looks like, you know, basically like he casts spells for you. Um, just on like a kind of like a, uh, uh, a nerd a nerd thing, I really like the Venom cards for the real basic reason of the names on them, because they give different names for uh, the different levels. But so, um, there's Venom, Eddie Brock, which was the original uh, Venom, and he was, you know, obviously the one that, uh, you know, fought uh, Spider-Man forever. And then there was a, uh, a storyline where Eddie Brock was sick, and, and he, like, auctioned off uh, the... The, the, the Venom suit to somebody. And it went to Mac Gargan. And if you remember Mac Gargan, uh, he was um, the Scorpion uh, for the longest time. And then he got to be Venom for a while. And notice he's, and he was like not as powerful. He wasn't as tough as, as, as Venom, as Eddie Brock was. And you can you see he's actually cost less. So it's like the uh, uncommon is six, uh, the, the, I mean, common is six, the uncommon is five. And then Angelo Fortunato was like, if I remember correctly, uh, he was a mob boss's son that uh, was all sickly and weak, and like he bought the Venom suit for him uh, to like try to get him to be like more powerful or something. So I thought it was just kind of cool that like the three different versions of Venom were like the three different people uh, that were Venom, and I thought that was pretty neat. Um, I was really annoyed. Uh, actually, I should be honest. I didn't get the Doctor Doom uh, uh, rare, uh, the yellow one. Uh, I, I, I really wish I'd gotten that one. Um, uh, let me see. And then there was, I liked um, Angel, the Angel, a rare card. I like this. Um, if you use an action this turn, Angel cannot be blocked. I mean, it's just like you know. I like, the, and he's like super cheap too. He's only two. I thought that was pretty cool. And also, I, uh, the Thing was always one of my favorites when I was a little kid, and so I was annoyed that I did not get the rare of Thing as well. So I gotta hope I can track that one down. Um, and I got all three of the Punishers, which I thought was pretty cool. I always liked him. Uh, and um, I got all three of the Magnetos, which I was really happy about. And um, I got a ton of Gambits, but then like it's like I got... Like, like, nine Gambit dice, I think, or something. No, no, Gambit was one I got almost no dice with, but I still managed to get an Uncommon. The one I was talking about was um, Black Widow. I got a ton of Black Widows, but I, like I said, I only got her common card. I didn't get anything else, which was kind of annoying. But, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a collectible game, and uh, there's not much you can do about that. And I was really actually happy that I got all three of the Lokis, too. So, um, but yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know, it's... Obviously, you know, I, I did drop uh, quite a bit of money on this. Um, the guys at Paradox are super cool, and they held this for me. And uh, and they, they were kind enough to, uh, you know, they, they, they ordered this, and they, they assured me they'd have two starter boxes and uh, two booster boxes for me. And they did, and they came, totally came through for me. So if you're ever in Fargo or Moorhead, head down to Paradox uh, Comics and Cards, because uh, they will take care of you. But there you go. Um... It is uh, a bunch of dice. I'm really looking for it. I'm bringing all this to uh, to work tomorrow, and I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with my buddy Paul, uh, who is a big uh, 
nerd uh, when it comes to comics. I'm going to start uh, putting these in my bead organizers. I have a ton of these. Everybody should have these. I think this will be the best way uh, to carry all your dice around. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them all in. Like I think I'm gonna have to use two of these. I think. So I don't know if anybody has any better ideas for how to uh, carry all these around. I'd be uh, please post that and let me know. But uh, thanks very much for watching this and. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun uh, ripping this stuff open with my daughter. And uh, I had a lot of fun just kind of going through everything and, and sharing it with you. So uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching and you have an awesome day.